Hi friends, I know you're here for VO3. I've burned through 300,000 credits, that's $600, so you don't have to. I'll show you why this is the best video model in many aspects and when you should probably not use VO3 and go with Clean 2.1 instead. And something even crazier is the prompt theory behind VO3. <laughs> the generated humans look so real that we can't help but question the nature of our reality. Are we all prompts? Is Helena AI? Keep watching to find out. Let's start with this photorealistic clip of people having conversations. <laughs> Can you believe we built this in a weekend? <laughs> uh, just wait till people see the demo. Obviously, this is highly impressive. Show this to someone who hasn't seen VO3, they'll most likely think it's a real clip. The camera movement, the character's hand gestures, and their facial expressions are all really natural. But as we see more of these VO3 conversation clips today, you'll probably notice there's a really interesting awkwardness to the human characters with the model. Like, I find this so funny that the woman is really excited about this thing they built, but the man's kind of like making these like awkward little hand gestures and like looking around. Sort of like when you kind of disagree with someone, but you don't want to tell them. Let's see how Cling 2.1 did. I clicked a five second generation by mistake, so it's not enough to fit the entire conversation. And you've already noticed Cling 2.1 doesn't come with audio generation, which means if we want our people to converse, we're going to have to work on the speeches ourselves. This is after I edit some audio for it. <laughs> Why don't we just ship it? <laughs> you can do this on open art. We'll have a lip sync tutorial very soon. Make sure you subscribe. Now let's look at a second clip generated from the same prompt on VO3. Can you believe we built this in a weekend? <laughs> <laughs> um, just wait till people see the demo. Yeah. We see the composition is so similar for text to video. That's because VO3 has a very specific style of prompt alignment. If we use the same exact prompt, you're likely going to get very similar video clips. Don't just spam regenerate. It is very important to refine your prompt and iterate. If you use the same prompt and hope to re-roll, you're probably not going to get something too much better or even different. So in this case, if we think the man's being too awkward, I would probably go back and change the descriptions of his facial expressions. Like instead of saying person B is half smiling, we can say, he looks very excited. Generate again to see if that helps. And this is another clean generation with my extra audio. <laughs> Can you believe we built this in a weekend? I know, right? So with Clean 2.1 text to video, we actually get more creative angles and compositions. With this model, you could keep the same prompt and re-roll the generations to get different things. Our new VO3 clip is done. Let's see if adjusting the prompt a little changed anything. Can you believe we built this okay. in a weekend? <laughs> so home. Just wait till people see the demo. <laughs> so with a small edit, the composition changed a lot, and this is not a coincidence. It really just has to do with how the VO3 model works. Some models have a very specific way of mapping input and output pairs in the vector space, and VO3 is one of them. The exact way you arrange the words in your prompt maps to a specific area in the output space, so you end up getting very similar things. We'll generate this prompt again because the clip kind of got confused about who's speaking, Let's give it another chance. I apologize if this sounds boring to you. I like to be more analytical to summarize helpful behavior patterns of these models so you can have an easier time working with them, especially because VO3 is so expensive. Understanding the inner workings better is going to save you big bucks. The video is done. So you see, I was not lying. This is not a coincidence. If we don't change the prompt at all, we get very similar outputs. Let's see how this one did. Can you believe we built this in a weekend? Uh, just, just wait. Just wait till people see the demo. <laughs> Still got a little bit confused about who's saying what. 
And another thing I want to point out is we get these random subtitles. This one is correct, but sometimes it's like, for example, just wait till we boo see the demo. Um, I haven't found a way to control this. I think it's a flaw of the VO3 model right now. And it's pretty annoying for conversation clips. My best and kind of only workaround for this is to crop out the bottom part of the video. But I know it's not ideal, so if you have a better way, please share with us in the comments. For this clip, because we're seeing so much confusion about the speech, I would iterate the prompt further by calling them the woman and the man instead of person A and person B. And you're going to see that even though this doesn't seem like much of a change, we're not going to get this composition anymore. Let's see. Can you believe we built this in a weekend? <laughs> Just wait till people see the demo. <laughs> this clip is much better. The setting changed again. It's honestly really interesting how little things can change your output. In our first iteration, their motion seemed a little unrelaxed. So we got like a sort of work setting cafe. In the second iteration, because they seem happier, we got something much greener, more lively and cute. In our third iteration, because we said women and men specifically, I actually think they made the setting a little more romantic. Now, it might sound like we're really reading into this, but as you get through more credits and you think about what we said today, you'll really feel it. That's why I find these models so fascinating. You can refer to this graph when deciding between VO3 or Clean 2.1. VO3 is totally leading when it comes to realistic videos involving humans, especially when humans talk. It doesn't just have speech generation, it also gives you really natural sounds of the surroundings, the background, those little noises that really bring your videos to life. What's more is that VO3 can actually also give you music. Since we can only get 8 second clips, it's probably not that helpful, but we can really look forward to when we get longer generations. We also saw that Clean 2.1 has more creative potentials, and VO3 appears to be a little more monotonic in terms of style. With that, let's take a deeper look at writing a good prompt for VO3. We can think of the text-to-video prompt as a combination of four prompts. We have the image prompt, the video prompt, the sound prompt, and the speech prompt. You don't always have to have them all, but including all these aspects usually gets you better results. A good way to get started is to start by thinking of the starting frame and describe that image like you're writing an image prompt. And then think about what's going to happen in this frame and how it's going to move. That will be your video prompt. In this example, it'll be camera whip pans, then fast snap zooms into a mischievous gremlin's scaly face and a rumpled suit and oversized tie as he deadpans. In the video prompt, we describe the camera movements, the character movements and actions, and we can optionally go into more details about the surroundings. There's more tips about that in my previous video on Clean 2.1. And Ehrman also has tutorials on working with video generators. I'll link to all these videos in the description. Then we'll include some sound prompts and some speech prompts that are specific to VO3. These things will not work with Clean 2.1, but you could throw them in, it's not really going to do any harm. And if you're using image to video, you can just omit the image prompts part. But then keeping it in there is also fine and it actually can help VO3. With this prompt, Kling struggles to get a good looking gremlin and it fails to do the camera movement of a whip pan. VO3 followed everything really nicely. <coughs> I'm only here for the unlimited coffee. And so if you want advanced camera movements, really tight prompt alignment, or you don't have a starting image, VO3 is the way to go. Aside from all these impressive things, VO3 has a big flaw in keeping characters consistent. You'll have no trouble with text to video, VO3 can keep the character consistent, but whenever you want to have a longer story, it'll get tough. You'll either need to take a screenshot of the generated video and use that as the input image, or you might already have a character from elsewhere, for example, a trend character on open art, and you want to use your own image as the input. You can try to work with it, but what's tricky is that sometimes VO3 takes your input image more as a reference rather than a real starting frame. One trick to help is to make sure your input image for VO3 is of 16 to 9 aspect ratio. 
because that's the only aspect ratio VO3 can work with. This is what happens when it's not 16 to 9. Next siege, I'm expensing gluten-free arrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put them on the wellness and warfare budget. <laughs> I tried different ways of prompting, hoping maybe it could give me like a 90 degree rotated vertical video, but I couldn't get it to work. If your input image is not 16 to 9, VO3 takes in the reference and makes it 16 to 9. The aspect ratio is also a big limitation if you need anything other than 16 to 9, work with clean. It's also extremely hard for VL to give you something other than a realistic movie style. If you're working with cartoon or anime, you know how there's a different way that the characters like make movements? VL's always gonna try to give you the realistic type of movements. So if you're working with more unique artistic styles, go with clean. VO3 is really expensive. Looking at this table, I get really sad about our failed generations. As you can see, VO3 and Clean 2.1 are not in the same price league, so I don't think it's really fair to compare them. Personally, Clean 2.1 is still my usual model choice. It's very rare for VO3 to outperform Clean 2.1. But whenever I need hyper photorealistic people talking clips, I definitely go for VO3. Did the AI feed the cat yet? Not yet. It's been updating for a day. The good news is something called VO3 Fast is on the way. It's probably going to be about one-fifth of the current price. Don't take my word for it, but it's going to make the model much more usable. So, you still haven't subscribed.